How is it going everybody Mr Android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel well in today's video i've got the galaxy s25 ultra which is running the latest one ui 7 and since the one ui 7 has a lot of new customization features i thought why not go ahead and show you how to customize your samsung's home screen as well as the lock screen and even your phone's animations with all the new one ui 7 features that you will be getting very soon on your samsung device so if you own the latest Galaxy S25 or the S24 Ultra or any other Samsung phone and you are waiting for the One UI 7 update then make sure you watch this video until the very end. Also let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one. With that said drop a like leave a comment and let's get started. Since the Galaxy S25 series came out I have noticed a lot of people switching from iPhones. Well even if you are not planning to make a switch who knows you might get one brand new Galaxy S25 as a Valentine's Day gift from your partner. This sounds exciting at first but remember you have to transfer all your data from an iPhone to an Android and that's where our sponsor Dr. Phone by Wondershare comes in. They have the best solutions for all the smartphone related problems. Whether you want to unlock your phone screen, if you have forgotten your password or you just want to transfer data including WhatsApp chats from iOS to Android or Android to iOS, you know switching phones can be a total headache. All those chats, photos, videos or any of your important data, now you don't have to worry about losing them. Dr. Phone is here to transfer all your data seamlessly without any hassle. All you have to do is simply install the software from the description below, then select the phone transfer option. Now you need to connect both the source and targeted device using the USB cable. Here select the data that you want to transfer and finally click on start transfer. Within no time, all your data will get transferred to your new phone. Definitely check this one out, you will find a direct link in the description below. First I want to appreciate Samsung for giving us so many customization features in One UI 7 and I still can't believe I have done all these customizations without having to install any third party launcher on my phone. Now let's start off with the lock screen. As you can see the wallpaper is the main attraction of my lock screen and if you want to download this beautiful looking Spider-Man wallpaper then there is also this gradient wallpaper which I have currently applied on my home screen. All you have to do is just head over to the video description and there you will find a direct link to download these gorgeous looking wallpapers. Guys I haven't done anything crazy on the lock screen and this animated clock is newly added in the One UI 7. Go into lock screen customization then tap on the style icon and here you will see a lot of beautiful looking clock faces. If you scroll all the way to the right you will find these two animated clocks which they have added in the latest One UI 7. You can select the first one and then move it to the left side so it doesn't overlap with the Spider-Man. Then you can change the color as well. I'll pick the color which is adapted from the wallpaper. Now that's pretty much it for the lock screen. I think it looks clean, attractive and still stands out thanks to the wallpaper. When I unlock my phone, here is where you will see a lot of interesting changes. We have got this gorgeous looking icons and even though One UI 7 doesn't support dark icons, you can still get it from the Play Store and the icon pack is called One Pro Dark. Again you will find a direct link in the description below, so just go ahead and install this pack right away. Once that is done, now in order to apply the icon pack, you can use the GoodLock application which I am sure a lot of you must have already installed on your Samsung phone. Just open the GoodLock app and download the theme park module. Now go inside theme park, click on the icons tab and then tap on create new. Here just go ahead and select icon pack. You will find all the third party icons you have downloaded from the play store. Just select the One Pro dark icons and tap on save. You can then give a name and install this theme on your Samsung phone. Now simply go back and apply the One UI dark icons with just a single click. As you can see now we have got dark icons which look exactly like the stock One UI 7 icons and I absolutely love how these icons look on my home screen. Next let me show you how to change the home screen layout by using one of my favorite good luck modules called Home Up. Guys recently we have received a major update for the home up module which brings a lot of interesting new customization features and I already made a detailed video regarding that. So if you haven't already then make sure to watch that video as well. Links will be provided in the description below. Now in case if you haven't updated the home up module then make sure you download the apk file from the description below and the version number will be 16.0.00.56. Once you have downloaded the latest version but still you are not able to see the home up module inside the good luck app. Then simply long press on the home screen, go into settings, scroll all the way down and you will get a brand new option that says more customizations. If you go inside, it will open the brand new home up module from where you can easily access all the new customization features. If you are not able to see that specific module inside the GoodLock app, then you can access all these features right from here. Now in order to customize your home screen, just go inside the home screen section, 
Here you need to disable the show favorites toggle. This will completely remove the dock from your home screen. Then simply enable the DIY home screen option. That's it. Now when you go back, just long press and you get a brand new DIY home option at the top right. Simply tap on it and now you can freely place all your app icons and widgets wherever you want to without any restrictions. No matter whether the grid size is 4x4 or 5x5, you can arrange the app icons anywhere you want to. Since we have already removed the dock, what I have done is I have placed the app icons just above that keeping 3 icons in a row. I think this actually looks really really good. Next I have applied 3 stock widgets on my home screen and the best part about the One UI 7 is that it lets you resize the widgets in different ways. I have my clock, calendar and the weather widget beautifully arranged in this order which gives the home screen a very clean and organized look. I didn't go with the KWGT widgets this time because I really like the stock One UI 7 widgets and I think it actually looks great on the home screen. Did you know you can also customize the animations on One UI 7 with the help of Home Up module? So again we will go to home screen settings, tap on more customizations and here click on gesture settings. Go inside home gesture animations. First you get 4 different presets, classic, elegance, dynamic and sweet. You can try all these and select whichever you like depending on your taste. But what I usually do is I go to advanced tuning and select detailed settings. Here we can tweak the animations in a more advanced way and what I like doing here is I will increase the damping to 92 both X and Y then reduce the stiffness to 105, then the friction value is set to 0.42 and again we'll reduce the stiffness and make it 230. Then all the way down and increase the wallpaper scale animation to 1.5. You can also increase the duration to 1.3. Finally, we'll enable the blur effect as well. These animations will still look more natural but there will be a slight improvement in terms of overall smoothness. So this is how I customize the animations using the Home Up module. It is not very fancy with a lot of bounciness but I think it still looks really really smooth. If anything goes wrong or you didn't like the animations, you can easily go back to the advanced settings, scroll all the way down and tap on the reset button. So that's pretty much it for this video. This is how you can customize your Samsung device running One UI 7 with all the latest customization features. If you still face any issue then let me know in the comments section, I'll definitely help you out. And if you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I'm Mr. Android and I'll see you guys in the next one.